Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So in our previous video, we discussed the Kafka consumer architecture where first we have covered this particular diagram which basically explains internal working of Kafka consumer when we keep enable auto commit true, right? So in this particular process, whenever polling step is over, then automatically in a parallel thread, the commit concept is taken care of, right? And now, sometime if the developer want to take the responsibility of committing the offset in underscore underscore consumer underscore offset topic, then the architecture looks like this, right? That time we keep enable auto commit as false. And if we following at least once processing architecture, then what will happen? After all the records are processed successfully, then we are making a commit here. And in this particular architecture, as well as in previous architecture, we have seen the disadvantage. That is, there is always a possibility that the same message will be processed more than one time. Okay, because here we are doing commit after all the messages are processed. If in the middle something happens, error will occur. And if error occurs, then automatically the whole flow will be interrupted. It will again go to poll step. So basically, we are not giving any opportunity to commit already processing messages. And that's why reprocessing of same message happening when I am getting the next set of response from the broker, right? Because broker will return same set of messages because the offset is not committed, right? Now we need to overcome this particular issue and that's why I am going to discuss another architecture which is again with manual offset commits only and here this architecture follow exactly once processing, okay? That is one message will be processed only once in this architecture. How it works, let us try to understand. So here, as you can see, we are starting our process by instantiating the consumer. In the consumer section, we are giving the different configuration like key deserialization, value deserialization, in which group the consumer actually belongs to. So the group ID, then auto offset reset, either latest or earliest we can configure. The default one is latest, right? And then here also enable auto commit we are keeping false that means the developers only taking the responsibility of committing the offset okay but this time we want exactly once processing right so how it happens so once we instantiate our consumer obviously the polling mechanism starts the polling mechanism will request for messages to the kafka broker so here you can see this particular line is indicating fetch record request okay now first the broker will check for this particular consumer session, whether this is initial fetch or not. If it is initial fetch, obviously the consumer is newly entered consumer in the Kafka consumer group. So what will happen? The broker will first do consumer rebalancing. Okay. And once it is done, different consumers will be assigned different partition. And from the respective partition, based on the earlier committed offset, it will basically send the new set of messages for processing as a response. Okay. And if for this particular consumer session, if that is not the initial fetch or initial poll request, then obviously it will go to the no path and it will read the events from the assigned partitions after the committed offset and it will return the messages for processing. Okay, as simple as that. So here our consumer got the record response, right? Now here automatically this particular step starts consumer collected all the messages to be processed and it will start processing one by one message maybe it is storing in a database or elastic search cluster whatever activity it is doing okay now previously what we were doing that once all the messages are processed then only we were committing and that's why in the middle of processing suppose three messages are processed and it is processing fourth message and by that time some error occurred then we are not giving any opportunity for committing the offset up to which the messages are processed, right? And that's why reprocessing was happening. So to avoid that, what we will do, as soon as any message is processed properly, we will commit that offset, okay? That's what is depicted here, that you can see, collect records, suppose I am having 10 records, I am processing one by one, and then I am immediately committing them as soon as the process is successful, okay? And if we are having more records to be processed, it will again go to the collect record step and it will process all the messages one by one and commit them okay and if all the message processing are successful it will go to this particular path that is no more record to be processed remaining from that particular response so again it will go to poll step and perform the infinite loop okay and now see the beauty suppose i got 10 messages as response of that particular poll request 
and I processed up to three messages. Okay, in this particular step, I processed up to three messages. And now suppose while processing the fourth one, the error occurred. So what will happen? Already when third message was processed, then the offset was committed. Okay, that means the Kafka broker know that up to third message the processing is done, right? Now when at fourth message error is occurring, it is going to pull step. So pull step will request. Now broker will send the messages after the last committed offset, right? Now last committed offset is already up to message three. So broker will send the response of that pull request from message four onwards only. That means there is no way of reprocessing of the same message one, two, three. Okay. So basically just we are shifting the layer where we are committing. Okay. Like here earlier we were committing once all the messages are processed. But instead of that, if we want exactly once processing, then we have to commit the offset in our underscore underscore consumer underscore offset topic as soon as any message is processed. That way we can avoid reprocessing of same message. Okay. I hope you understood this particular architecture. The architecture diagram I will be providing in the description box or in the comment section. Please go through that. And I will also request you to go through my previous videos where I explained Kafka consumer from scratch in detail. I will be sharing all those links as prerequisite in the description box of this particular video. Hope this discussion will help you. This is all for my this video. If you find this video helpful, then please like, share and comment. Subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of all latest videos. Thank you.